What's up everybody, Will Borza here, the LA Recordist. It's the Analog Vlog. It's a vlog and a log. Okay, tonight I have some mixing work to do, like, I don't know, 20 cues or something like that, something ridiculous. I'm gonna power through them, um, but it's really hot here in LA, so I have my air conditioner running over there in the corner, uh, which is making the monitoring situation not work so well. So I'm going to implement the fake room aux send that I created yesterday, and I wanted to show you a really cool hack, trick, Thing, whatever you want to call it, where you can create track presets that you can load into any and every Pro Tools session that you have. That is to say, you have a set of plugins and a certain routing situation on a track. You can save that, insert a new track in a completely different Pro Tools session, and pull up that exact track with those exact plugins at those exact parameters with those sends at that level and everything. It's a really cool, super helpful tip. It's technically not written in the books. It's something that's like, it's, it's like an Easter egg. You shouldn't know about it, but it works. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do, you wanna go to our finder window, documents, Pro Tools. This is where all your uh, presets, documentation, etc. is stored for Pro Tools. So what we need to do is we need to create a new folder and we want to call it Track Presets with an S. It's very important that it's exact, exactly written as Track Presets. You can open that up and I'm going to make a couple subcategories because I'm going to go kind of crazy with this. I'm going to make monitoring as one. I'm gonna make master as another and I'm gonna make audio tracks I'm just audio as another. One more How about aux for buses. Now let's pop open Pro Tools. I'm gonna open up the session that I made yesterday with the simulated room in it. Boom. Here it is. Now uh, the track that we're looking for is this one. It's called Room. And I'm going to just delete everything but that track. Goodbye. I will change the bus to no input because chances are bus one and two is going to be taken up in another project that you've already set up. So I'm going to change that to no input. And now, with room selected, I'm going to go to File, Save as Template, and it gives me some options here. I'm gonna say Select Location for Template. Hit OK. Now you can go in here, and you can find Documents, Pro Tools, Track Presets, Monitoring, and we're gonna call this Simulated room. Save. Okay, now, so if we go in Finder, we look at this. Go under Monitoring. You have simulatedroom.ptxt. Now, if you're in an earlier version of Pro Tools, like Pro, Pro Tools 10, it's going to bounce out these templates as PTX, and you have to go in manually and change the name. you got to add the T yourself. It'll say, what are you doing? You don't want to do that. You don't know, extensions, blah, blah, blah. You say, screw you, Mac. I know what I'm doing. Will told me to do this, so we're okay. All right, simulatedroom.ptxt. Excellent. We're going to close this session. Don't need to save it. And I'm going to open up the project that I was working on and that I will be continuing to work on tonight. It's a big one, so it's going to take a second. Boom. Here it is. All right. Moment of truth. New track. Now, if you go here and you change audio track, before, you just had audio, aux, master, VCA, MIDI, and instrument. And now, look at these guys. These are the four folders you made, audio, aux, master, and monitoring. So if I had to go to monitoring, 
now you see right here it says simulated room. That is the template we just made. When you make multiple templates like this, it's going to be in a drop down menu here, which is really cool. So simulated room, create, and boom, look at that. There is my track and it has my three plugins already loaded in it. And if you look over here, it has the pan pots narrowed a bit. This is exactly what I want. I'm gonna take my output, I'm gonna send it to a new bus. Let's see, what's the next one? 37, 38. I'm gonna go over here, the input is 3738. And now, I can monitor through this, through my headphones in the simulated room, and the air conditioner unit can stay on, and I can make awesome sounding mixes in my headphones. Now you can go a little bit crazy with this. The templates themselves are very, very small files. Like this one, 45 kilobytes. That's tiny. So you can take these and you can email them to yourselves. You can email them to your friends. So here's one I made in 2015, about a year ago. This is something I call Borzification. We're gonna download that. It downloads immediately. And I'm going to put it under aux. Forcification right there. Now, this is how crazy you can go with this type of stuff. Create new session. Forcification 1.7 editing. Save changes, sure. New track. Aux. Forzification 1.7. Watch this. Hello, Borzification. Okay, this is a template I've been working on for a very long time, and I'm not going to show you what any of it is because I spent a whole bunch of hours putting it together to work just right. It does amazing things, and in another vlog some other day, I will show you how it works. But to be able to set all this up with just a few clicks, routed everywhere, all the plugins in exactly where they need to be, this is an extremely powerful thing to make a new track and have all of this show up. So that is a Pro Tools power user tip. It is extremely awesome. With great power comes great responsibility, so use it wisely. If you like this tip, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like these tips, please subscribe to my channel. I make a video every single day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.